back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of the Evolution X ROM and I know you guys may say that like I'm making a video again and again on this ROM well that's because this is the most amazing Android 10 based custom ROM which has a lot of customizations and it offers a great stability on the Redmi K20 Pro that is the reason why I'm making a lot of videos on this particular ROM well the build date over here of this build is like 11th February 2020 that is the latest one and this is a test build not a public build so do wait for a stable release after this one so this is not a public build which I am showing over here and as you can see on the like security patch is like February 5th 2020 latest security patch the evolution X version is 4.1 official and yes I have talked about all the features almost you can see those in this card right here of this ROM and everything is like working great over here and like the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast let me show you unlocked now let me show you with the left thumb unlocked and that is too from the always on display as you can see it unlocks almost every time and if you do it from the lock screen display here it unlocks and let me try from the lock screen display with the left thumb and unlocked so no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner here and by the way some guys have been like facing including me with the night light problem like if you have night light turned on the fingerprint scanner will just reject to work but right now as you can see even in night light let me show you again night light and always on display with both it is working fine and even from the lock screen display let me show you unlocked with like night light turned on so that is not a problem anymore and by the way if you have updated from previous build just go to your sound settings and if you have this screenshot sound like disabled and if it's still making the sound of taking a screenshot just make sure you like enable it and re-disable it after you do that the screenshot won't be like doing the sound of taking the screenshot or capturing the screenshot so that's great right now and we also have the live caption and stuff of course those things are working fine and you can customize these volume panels over here so that's great too and here we have the volume steps etc then the vibrator intensity for ringtones and notifications separately so that's great over here now talking about one more problem which was there is that whenever you are connecting the phone with the pc the phone just reboots and it does not ever go into the file explorer or like the file transfer mode you cannot even like do anything because the phone just randomly reboots whenever you plug in with your pc so that problem is simply gone right now so that is not a problem anymore you can connect the phone with your pc and use whatever you need like the photo transfer or the media transfer or file transfer etc whatever you need you can do those with usb so that's not a problem anymore on this rom so now that i have talked about all the bugs the cameras and stuff are working great over here not a problem and the wide angle lens the 2x telephoto etc are working fine with this MIUI camera google camera 7 is working fine too no issues whatsoever with this google camera 7 night side pictures and stuff are working great i have no complaints regarding the google camera and i have been using the live wallpapers and stuff over here which looks pretty great and even with the live wallpapers the whole ui stays pretty smooth no issues whatsoever that i could find and here you can double tap to sleep on the like status bar of course and then you can like control the brightness by just sliding a finger on the status bar so this is a really helpful feature i would say in my opinion i use it on a daily basis google pay and stuff works right out of the box so you don't need to worry about banking apps here like you don't need to even flash magic or something to get the google pay working here is the android score of this rom in pubg graphic settings you get hdr and extreme settings so pretty much 60 fps gameplay that you will get here
So even after gaming for quite a while, the temperatures of the device are not that high. As you can see, the battery temperature in CPU-Z shows below 35 degrees. So that is pretty great, I would say. The ROM is pretty optimized and it doesn't heat the phone much even if you game a lot. So it will stay below 40 degrees for sure. The battery life over here is pretty great, I would say. The battery life I have been getting is about like 7 to 8 hours of screen on time easily and I had no issues with the battery life over here on this ROM. And this is how the stock dialer looks like, still does not have a call recording option but yeah, Wi-Fi calling and stuff is working fine here so that's not a problem. And inside Evolution X you will find all the customizations here and I would say you get everything like accent colors, you can like change whatever accent color you like, you can customize it then headline and body fonts are there. Header image and stuff is there, the blur of that like background is there. I have been using the dark theme so you are seeing this dark kind of look and you can just disable the dark theme from here pretty easily. As you can see I can just turn off this toggle and the dark theme will be gone. So that is like pretty simple and easy to switch. And here if you go into the gestures and stuff you will have the brightness control and the swipe to take screenshot gesture. The screen of power button torch is working fine, status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep is working fine. And then if you go back and in the lock screen here we have the icon customizer and like this is how many icons you get over here. Pretty much a lot of icons for the fingerprint sensor and I would say it's gonna be plenty <laughs> as it is more than MIUI I guess. Let me go back and here we have the pressed icon effects. You can change even the colors of the light on the fingerprint scanner. You can choose it to like this cyan and then white and green. And here the interesting thing is that like recognizing animation is there of the fingerprint scanner and here we have the AOD light pop pulse and there are a lot more like DNA and stuff. Let me show you if I can show you this. As you can see that animation looked pretty dope. Now let me switch to the future. So looks nice. A lot of like new kind of animations. This one looks pretty cool too. We have the stripe one. Looks nice. And this McLaren one, let me try it. Wow, this one looks pretty amazing. Let me show you up close. As you can see, this animation looks pretty amazing. And this Cosmos one. So I would say we are pretty used to seeing these like top 7 animations. But below that, there are a lot more interesting kind of look over here that you will get. This one looks amazing I would say and here we have these notification options where you can like disable the heads up and stuff then we have this edge lighting option but I don't know why it doesn't show up for me. Let me go to the bottom we have the ambient display brightness customizer so you can choose the brightness of the always on display that is really great. We have the vibrate on connect option and stuff and there are a lot of customizations as you can see here in the misc even we have the wake up on charge disabling option and the charging animation looks pretty nice. And by the way, the 18 watt fast charging works flawlessly here. No issues with fast charging in this ROM. Then we have the USB configuration and stuff. And talking about the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth, we also have this Mi Audio Direct inside sound settings. And here you can choose whatever headphones you have. And there are a plethora of options for the headphones. And you can choose the presets too if you would like. And we also have a Hi-Fi Audio Direct preset. In the display settings, we have the night light and stuff, live display, adaptive or auto brightness dark theme and inside styles and wallpapers we have a lot of options for the clocks and then we have the wallpapers option and here you have the like live wallpapers of course so nothing is compromised over here a really great rom on a really great state i would say and here we have the double tap to wake option and the double tap to wake i showed you while unlocking and stuff again and again and the anti flicker mode is there so you have the dc dimming option too if you need that so that's me it guys thank you so much for watching this video the Evolution X ROM is one of the best ROMs pretty much for the Redmi K20 Pro at least right now in 2020. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.